Madeline McCallum says dancing and performing is her passion, but because of being diagnosed with cancer, it's a life she's had to fight for. The 36-year-old went through lumpectomy surgery, and then in July of 2018, she went for a second surgery, a mastectomy. But instead of going through radiation treatments, she decided to heal herself through traditional ceremony. I just went into ceremony, all different types of ceremonies, and I guess that's also about the mind and the spirit. She knows that choosing traditional healing over Western medicine could be controversial, but says it was the right decision for her. I would have been in radiation right now. I probably would have been in my third or fourth week, and it's five and a half weeks, and I would have been really sick. I couldn't have done nothing. I wouldn't have been able to do anything, and I'd just be doing that five days a week, all day. Sarah Roth is the president and CEO of the BC Cancer Foundation. She says as long as the patient is safe, it's really up to them to choose their course of treatment. I think like any illness, every individual feels differently and has a different approach to their illness. So BC Cancer certainly wants to make sure that they're doing everything possible to help a cancer patient. At the end of the day, patients have choices. And we support a patient's choice to do whatever he or she wants to do, as long as we, we don't feel it's a harmful or puts you at risk. According to Statistics Canada, it's predicted that one in two Canadians will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. It also accounts for 30% of all deaths in Canada. Madeline knows it's a fight that's not going to be easy. It really was about ceremony. And of course I took like reishi mushrooms and chaga and I got chaga from northern Saskatchewan. So I was taking all those traditional medicines at the same time. I bring this medicine man from the United States. Um, his name's J.R. Fox and he does UEP ceremonies and he did one for me previous to my surgery. And he, we bring him to the community and I invite my family and supporters and then we all do these prayers and we do the ceremony and we feast and as we did a long time ago. I'll go back to Sundance because I've been a Sundancer and I didn't finish my four years so I'll have to go back and finish that sweat lodge. It's been a few months now since her surgery and she has an important update on her health. And I went into the doctor's office and I just asked, okay, what is the report? What is the pathology report saying? They just smile at you and they say, yeah, well, yeah, we, f we forgot to tell you, <laughs> you know, you're cancer free. And I don't know what do you, what can you do in that moment but cry and smile. In Sundance, we have a day, I think on the third day, that we do the sunrise ceremony. And the sun is what gives us life. You know, that light. And they always say when you're going through something, face the sun. By all accounts, she has beaten the odds and has now resumed her first love of dance. But never forgetting what she went through and wearing it like a proud badge of honor. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.